Want to finally master the most important Excel formulas in one place? In this video, I'll walk you through the top 15 Excel functions for beginners, step by step, with real examples and simple explanations. You'll learn how to use functions like sum, if, count, countif, ifs, left, right, and many more. If you're just getting started with Excel, or you want a solid refresher, this guide is all you need. Let's get started with the very first formula. In this table, we have a list of grocery items along with their categories and prices. Now let's calculate the total price of all items listed. To do that, we'll use the sum function. Click on the cell next to total amount and type equals sum D 5 to D 16. Press enter and Excel will add up all the prices from the list giving you the total cost of everything. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we still have the same list of grocery items with their categories and prices. Now, let's calculate the total price of only the dairy items. To do that, we'll use the sum if function. Click on the cell next to dairy total amount and type equals sum if C5 to C16 dairy D5 to D16. This tells Excel if the category in column C is dairy, then add the corresponding prices from column D. Press enter and Excel will give you the total for only dairy items. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of employees along with their salaries. Now let's find out who earns the highest salary. To do that, we'll use the max function. Click on the cell next to maximum salary and type equals max open parenthesis C5 colon C14 close parenthesis. This tells Excel to look through the salary column and return the largest number. Press enter and you'll see the highest salary from the list. Let's move on to the next function. Here we have the same list of employees and their salaries. This time, Let's find out who earns the lowest salary. To do that, we'll use the min function. Click on the cell next to minimum salary and type equals min open parenthesis C5 colon C 14 close parenthesis. Excel will scan the entire salary column and return the smallest value in the list. Press enter and you'll see who gets paid the least. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of employees and their salaries. Now let's count how many salary values are listed in the column. To do that, we'll use the count function. Click on the cell next to count and type equals count open parenthesis C5 colon C14 close parenthesis. This formula will count how many numeric values are in the salary column, ignoring any empty cells or text. Press enter and you'll see how many salary entries are there. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of employees and their salaries. Now let's count how many employees have a salary greater than $2,000. To do that, we'll use the COUNTIF function. Click on the cell next to COUNTIF and type COUNTIF C 5 to C 14 greater than or equal to 2000. This formula checks each salary in the range and counts how many of them are 2,000 or more, greater than or equal 2,000. Press Enter and Excel will return the number of employees earning equals or more than $2,000. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have monthly income values listed for the entire year. Now, let's calculate the average income per month. To do that, we'll use the average function. Click on the cell next to per month average and type equals average C5 to C16. This formula adds up all the monthly income values and divides the total by the number of months, giving you the average. Press enter and Excel will show the average monthly income. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of weekday names. 
Now let's extract only the first three letters from each day's name. To do this, we'll use the left function. Click on the first cell under left three char and type equals left B5 comma three. This tells Excel to take only the first three characters from the text in cell B5. Press enter and then drag the formula down to apply it to the rest of the list. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of codes that include some text and a four digit number. Now let's extract only the last four digits from each code. To do this, we'll use the write function. Click on the first cell under write four digit and type equals write B five comma four. This formula takes the last four characters from the text in cell B five, which gives us the numeric code. Press enter and drag it down to apply the formula to the rest of the cells. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of employees and their salaries. Now let's categorize each salary as either higher or lower based on a threshold of $3,000. To do that, we'll use the IF function. Click on the first cell under the IF category column and type equals IF C, five greater than or equal to 3,000 higher lower. This formula checks if the salary is greater than or equal to 3000. If it is, Excel returns higher, otherwise it returns lower. Press enter and drag the formula down to apply it to the rest of the employees. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have employee salaries and bonus amounts. Now we want to check which employees meet both conditions a salary of at least $2,000 and a bonus of at least $200. To do that, we'll use the IF plus AND combination. Click on the first cell under the IF plus AND column and type equals IF and C, 5 greater than or equal to 2000, D 5 greater than or equal to 200. That is okay. Not okay. This checks if both the salary and bonus meet the criteria. If both are true, it returns, that is okay. If not, it shows, not okay. Press enter and drag the formula down to apply it to the rest of the list. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have employee sales and the number of complaints they received. We want to label each employee as successful if they meet at least one of two conditions. Either their monthly sales are $10,000 or more, or they have zero complaints. To do that, we'll use the IF plus OR combination. Click on the first cell under IF plus OR and type equals IF OR C, five greater than or equal to 10,000, comma D five equals zero. Successful, not successful. This formula checks if either of the two conditions is true. If one or both are true, it returns successful. Otherwise, it shows not successful. Press enter and drag the formula down to apply it to the full list. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have employee names and their monthly sales figures. Now let's check which employees reached at least $10,000 in sales and label them accordingly. To do this, we'll use the IFS function. Click on the first cell under the IFS column and type equals IFS, open parenthesis, C5 greater than or equal to 10,000 comma, OK comma, C5 less than 10,000 comma, not OK, close parenthesis. This formula checks multiple conditions in sequence. If the sales are greater than or equal to $10,000, it returns OK. If not, it returns not OK. Press enter and drag the formula down to apply it to the rest of the list. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of grocery items along with their price and quantity. Now let's calculate the total cost for each item based on how many units were bought. To do that, we'll use the product function. Click on the first cell under cost per item and type equals product open parenthesis, C5, D5 close parenthesis. 
This formula multiplies the price by the quantity, giving you the total cost for that item. Press Enter and drag it down to apply it to the rest of the list. Let's move on to the next function. In this table, we have a list of ID numbers. Now let's find out how many characters are in each ID. To do this, we'll use the LEN function. Click on the first cell under number digit and type equals LEN B5. This formula counts all the characters in the cell, including letters, numbers, and even symbols. Press Enter and drag it down to see the length of each ID number. You got it. Was that helpful? In the next video, we'll dive into even more powerful Excel tricks. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. See you soon.